Labour in power. Not just talking the talk, but walking the walk too. Never, never sacrificing or selling out on our ideals, but putting them in action every single day. Not a revolution overnight, but real and meaningful change that makes life easier for the people who need it most. Conference, after the election this summer, the leadership of our party has now been decided, and I congratulate Jeremy on his clear victory. Now it's time for us to work together towards the greatest prize, getting Labour back into power. Conference, with Labour in power, your home and your commute get more affordable. The air you breathe gets less polluted. You get better pay and conditions at work. Our businesses are supported to grow and new jobs are created. With Labour in power, Britain is a fairer country, a more equal country and a more just country. And Labour is in power right now, not just in London, but in Wales too. Labour re-elected with the First Minister, Carwin Jones. And in Bristol with the new Mayor, Marvin Rees. <laughs> Labour is in power right now in Liverpool, Manchester and Southampton. In Newcastle, Glasgow and Cambridge. In Birmingham, Nottingham, Leeds and Cardiff too. Labour is in power in towns and cities the length and breadth of Britain. And conference. Where Labour is in power, it's thanks to your hard work. Thanks to Labour members, activists and supporters. Thanks. <laughs> thanks to the trade unions and the working people they represent. <laughs> thanks to the Labour staff who work so hard for us. And thanks to every single Labour councillor, Member of Parliament, Assembly member and MSP who walk the streets and knock on doors come rain or shine, who deliver Labour leaflets and who listen to the voters and who make the communities they represent day in and day out better. I want to say I want to say thank you to you all from the very bottom of my heart for your role in putting Labour in power and going above and beyond to help us win back London in May. Because it's only when Labour is in power that we get the chance to fix the problems that we care most about, like the housing crisis. With Labour out of power, the number of affordable new homes built falls. The cost of rent rockets and the number of homeless people sleeping on our streets rises. But it's only with Labour in power that we can make tackling the housing crisis our number one priority. We can create new teams like Homes for Londoners to get more genuinely affordable homes built. Or a new social letting scheme to stop renters being ripped off. We can enact new policies like the London Living Rent to put home ownership back within reach for our young people. And we can make tackling homelessness and rough sleeping a real priority because it's a stain on our great nation. Of course, <laughs> of course we always have to be honest. We won't be able to fix the housing crisis overnight. It's too serious and entrenched a problem. But it's only with Labour in power that we, we can make a real start and a real difference. Take air quality and pollution. When Labour is out of power, nowhere near enough is done to clean up our filthy air. 
Nearly 10,000 Londoners die every year from air so filthy it's actually illegal. Rather than taking action to clean up our air, the government fought against this tooth and nail in the courts. Once again, it's only with Labour in power that we can make a real difference. With world-leading new approaches like an ultra-low emission zone, stretching from the North Circular to the South Circular. And by putting in... And by putting in the resources and effort required to create the first clean bus areas in Britain, to ensure that we only buy truly clean buses from 2018. All of this is only possible when Labour is in power. Take social integration. With Labour out of power, we've just been through a divisive and bruising EU referendum campaign. With Labour out of power, the future of EU citizens in Britain who came here because they want to work and contribute is being used as a bargaining chip. Well, that's wrong, and I'll tell you this, the government should be ashamed. I don't want to take a moment to speak to the European citizens living across Britain and who make a huge contribution to our NHS, schools, and construction sites, and in business. You make a massive contribution to our country, economically, socially, and culturally. And my message to you is thank you. Thank you for all that you do to make our country great. You are welcome here. <laughs> Meanwhile, with Labour out of power, hate crime is rising. Whether anti-Semitic, Islamophobia, homophobia, or any other form of this vile crime. Extremism is a growing problem, whether in the Muslim community or on the far right, and the gap between the richest and the poorest in our society continues to grow. But we can only take action to make our communities more cohesive and to strengthen social integration if Labour is in power. It's only with Labour in power that we can give social integration the priority it deserves by appointing Britain's first Deputy Mayor for social integration, or creating London's first economic fairness team to fight for rights at work and better pay and conditions. It's only, it's only with Labour in power that we can have leaders who are proud to call themselves a feminist. That we can have... That we can have real gender pay audits and real plans to tackle pay inequality or ensure that at least half of the people we appoint are women. It's only with Labour in power that we can ensure that minority communities have a real sense of belonging so they are as resilient as possible to extremism and radicalisation. It's only with Labour in power that we can build bridges rather than walls to bring our communities together, not keep them apart. Of course, conference, Labour is not in power in the place we can have the biggest impact in our country, in Parliament. It's in government that Labour can make the biggest changes to people's lives. And every day now, we see what happens when Labour's not in power. We see the reintroduction of grammar schools, which will leave too many children behind and deepen inequality in our country. We see that the government has no plan for leaving the EU. We see that in 2016, someone's pay and career prospects can still be defined by their gender. We've seen six years of damage to the services that people rely upon, to the NHS, to schools, to social care. The people who need us the most are those who suffer the most when Labour is not in power. Conference. Conference, let me end by saying this. Labour out of power will never, ever be good enough. 
We can only improve lives with Labour in power by winning elections, by putting Labour values into action every day. Real Labour values, equality, social justice and opportunities for all. It's only with Labour in power can we create a fairer, more equal and more just Britain. And while Labour's not in power, we fail the very people who need us the most. So, conference, my message today is clear. It's our duty and our responsibility to put Labour back in power across Britain. We have to start by winning the mayoral elections next year in Liverpool, Manchester and Birmingham and ensuring Labour is in power in every great city in Britain. Because with Labour in power in cities and regions, we can show that our party can be trusted to govern again. With Labour in power, we can demonstrate that we can make a real difference to people's lives. And with Labour in power, we can prove that we're ready for government. Conference, it's time to put Labour back in power. It's time for a Labour government, a Labour Prime Minister in Downing Street, a Labour cabinet, Labour values put into action. Conference, it's time we put Labour back into power. Thank you.